Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is Cheat Manager, the Destroy Target node? This node is pretty simple. It literally does what it says. It destroys the target or the actor, basically, that we're currently looking at. Well, what do I mean by that? Let's run this. I'm using a line trace to fire off directly in front of us. What this line trace is pointing at is basically what the destroyed target will act upon. Now the line trace is just for visual representation purposes for this example. So I'll go ahead and point it at that, hit destroy target, and we'll see it disappears. Now keep in mind, it doesn't have anything in particular that it won't destroy. So if I target the floor, it's gonna destroy the floor. Something to keep in mind. And what I mean by visual purposes only, I can turn off my tick event for my line trace. You can see we no longer have a line trace, but if I'm facing the cube and hit destroy, it'll destroy that same thing with the floor again. The line trace was just for visual purposes only. It's accessed by grabbing the cheat manager from our player controller and you use the destroy target node. There are no inputs besides the cheat manager because again, it's simply whatever we're looking at directly from our camera viewpoint it will do a destroy actor event on. And that's it, it's really simple. Useful for a debug menu as you saw there. If you need to test some things out, clean some things out, maybe you're running through a level and you have some stuff in the way, you don't wanna go for the key, for the door, whatever. You can just destroy it and walk through it. It's useful for when you're trying to debug because that's the point of our cheat manager.